We begin tonight at 7 with Tropical Storm Nade. It's building strength as it moves toward the Gulf Coast and is expected to become a hurricane. The storm has already killed at least 22 people in Central America. Hurricane watches and warnings are in effect in New Orleans, Alabama, Mississippi, and parts of the Florida Panhandle. CBS4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer is tracking it for us tonight. And Craig, here we go again. Deja vu. Here we all go over again. again. Thankfully, we're not dealing with a hurricane here this weekend, but I think just about everybody's ready for hurricane season to be over and yes. done with. I'm tired of talking about hurricanes and that's kind of my specialty. But here's what's going on right now. This is Nate from the uh, visible satellite loop through the day. Today you can clearly make out the circulation here. It doesn't have the thunderstorm activity completely wrapped around it, but it is trying to get better organized. Now it was uh, disrupted rather severely as it was crossing Honduras and Nicaragua, but now uh, back over the warm waters there and moving rather quickly to the north. Here's a wider view and you can see here we are in South Florida getting a little bit of the outflow here. The high level clouds coming over us giving us that kind of hazy appearance to the sky. But there is Nate working its way to the north. Moving to the north quickly to the north northwest at 21 miles an hour. So over about the next 24 to 30 hours will be over water and then making land. Not a lot of opportunity to strengthen a whole lot, but still the forecast is for it to be a category one hurricane as it reaches and approaches the coast here. That's going to happen uh, beginning tomorrow afternoon when the weather deteriorates and then by tomorrow night making landfall and the worst of the weather uh, coming on shore. Now it's going to be kind of a lopsided storm also besides Besides that, it moves on to the northeast uh, as a rainmaker. Besides that, it is a kind of a lopsided storm here with where the center is and just east of the center where the worst of the weather will be. In fact, if you're just west of the center, the weather's not going to be too bad at all and improves rather quickly. So uh, the Florida Panhandle under the gun as well as Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana where we do have hurricane warnings in effect outside of that hurricane watches and tropical storm warnings. Also storm surge warnings in effect anywhere from five to eight feet of storm surge possible from uh, the mouth of the Mississippi over to the Alabama Florida uh, border. Here's the radar right now and you can see the uh, quick moving bands here. That's the edge of Nate farther away. Just a few showers coming up through the keys. Computer models show that the moisture for us is gradually going to be decreasing in the atmosphere, which means our rain chances go down and also our chances for any heavy downpours go down as well. And then by Monday, some drier air actually moves in. So through the weekend, hot and humid, some spotty storms possible tonight, especially over the keys. Tomorrow, a few storms around a tropical breeze, but Nate, no threat to South Florida. Elliot and Ruta Bay. All right, Craig, thank you very much. And you can track the tropics at any time. Just go to our website, cbsmiami.com slash tropics. And